literary correspondent. How do you like that, Paul? Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> that means you're going to get paid double <laughs> yeah. what we're paying. Sounds right real. Now. Yes, double. <laughs> so the writer's block, Paul Sheck Snyder is with us. And he brings a friend. Now, Kiki, I had no idea that you had time to do this well. kind of thing. You're being you know, a retail uh, a genius. And uh, you know, I remember you in your marketing uh, guru. And now you're an author. How's that feel? It, it feels great. What it's, do we got here? Yeah. Uh, Lila said no. All right. What's yeah. it all about? Tell us, well, tell us about, about the book. Well, it's about a hard-headed little five-year-old mm -hmm. yeah. whose parents are having a hard time uh, getting her to do anything unless they give her a treat. Is this an autobiographical? It, it, well, I, I, I've said this several times. I think every grandmother has a, a book inside of them. Mm -hmm. They just need to sit down and write it, and of course, take a few uh, creative liberties. It's oh, a yeah. Little, yeah, it's yeah. So, was this something you always wanted to do? Was this something you were kind of shoved into doing, or gently encouraged by loved ones? I've always loved children's books. I've always bought before I had a child. Ever thought I'd get married? I bought children's books. Yeah. I had yeah. the, all the Peter Rabbit books, all the yeah. Maurice Sendak books. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, anything that won a Caldecott Award, I thought I was going to be an illustrator, but yeah. I turned out to be a writer instead. And so uh, I think it's because I have such a short attention span. <laughs> I love reading children's <laughs> books. But uh, I, I just uh, always said I wanted to do it. Yeah. And so uh, it was probably two years ago, I was telling yeah. you, yeah. Uh, I wrote the book and sat on it for a year just because I thought, oh, I don't know, it, you know, it's so personal yeah. when you write something, your art. And um, I sent it uh, off to a publisher in New Orleans, Susan Schott, and she called me the next day and said, I love this. And I was like, okay, then <laughs> How let's long did do it take it. you? Um, it really didn't take that long to get the gist of it down, because I think it had been in my head for a while. But then, you know, I refined it over about a month and a half, yeah. not that long. I mean, it's 32 and tell us pages. about the illustrator. It's, um, uh, Aileen Bennett, yeah. who as oh my a, gosh, yeah. I know, and Another it's a crazy, amazing. crazy yeah. story. I I sent her a message because she and I've been uh, f distant friends, and I asked her if she had time. I didn't tell her about the book, what it was about. I was still kind of shy about it. If she had time to do an illustration, and she said, "Oh no, 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 I'm too busy. I'm too busy." Yeah, I well, didn't then, know Aileen, Aileen even did that. Well, oh, oh, she's so talented. But anyway, so she's also Susan's publisher, which at the time I didn't know. I sent the book to Susan, and she said, I've got the perfect illustrator for you, Aileen Bennett. And I'm thinking, well, she's guess right what? around the corner. Well, I was thinking, That's she all. doesn't have time. And so Aileen sent, I mean, uh, Susan sent her the book, and Aileen said, I'm in. I mean, Great. And Great. Uh, Aileen said she really enjoyed it because it's so different from anything that she's ever done. All right. Lila mm -hmm. says no. Where can folks find it? Well, you can pre-order at Barnes & Noble uh, and uh, Amazon, and then it'll be available uh, September, September 15th here. Lots of stores have called me about it, and uh, please awesome. go buy it or pre-order. Thank nice. you all so much. Congratulations on the book. Congratulations. Oh, thank all you. the best. Yeah. Paul, yes. good to see you. Thank you. You all too. All right. Let's go over to Adam. He's standing by right behind Brandon in that direction.